So, as uh, I'm pretty sure everybody in my audience is aware of, there's a new movement on the right of people who like to act like their main issue is freedom of speech. Now, as somebody who cares deeply about freedom of speech, and somebody who uh, takes the same position as the ACLU, let me say that I am beyond sympathetic. I am in lockstep with said people. So, you know... It's easy to defend people who you agree with and their free speech rights, but the real test of whether or not you you believe in it as a matter of principle is if you're willing to defend people who you despise. And I think the ACLU has proven their position over and over again. They even defended Milo Yiannopoulos, that loathsome cretin in court. Um, and they should. They're right to do that. And they got some shit for that, but they said, hey man, listen, this is your... If you give money to us, you're donating to a principled organization. We believe in civil liberties across the board. I agree with them totally on that. Now, I've often criticized these right-wing free speech warriors, though, because they don't, they're not actually principled. They just always trot out that argument only when they agree with the person who's being deplatformed or persecuted as a result of their speech. They never do the segments when it's like somebody who they disagree with or a law that they should be fighting back against. So, for example, there have been laws that ban um, where state governments r refuse to partner with people who uh, protest Israel. And that's a clear violation of free speech rights. I mean, they had to sign to get flood relief and hurricane relief money in Houston. You had to sign a waiver saying you don't uh, agree with BDS, boycott, divestment, and sanctions. Well, if you're a free speech warrior, where the fuck are you? You better come out and argue on the side of those people. That's a clear violation of their speech. They can't get a subsidy that would anybody would be able to get if they simply speak their mind on an issue and they disagree with the official government position. That's nothing but a crackdown on free speech. And the list goes on and on. You know, there's been um, examples of lefties on college campuses, pro-Palestine professors who've had their speech censored. I hear silence from the right on that. Anti-Trump uh, speakers who've been silenced on uh, campus. I don't hear anything from the sp free speech warriors on that. You know? It, okay, it's great if you want to go out there and defend uh, people who are like fascists, for example. I would too. They have a right to speak on college campuses. But are these free speech warriors also going to defend Antifa? If you're not, then you really don't believe in free speech and you need to stop fucking pretending. So, there's this whole cottage industry on the right where they shroud themselves in this issue. But like I said, I think they're charlatans because they don't really believe in it. Um, and, you know, Fox News has hopped on the bandwagon. And they act like, yeah, we're the uh, pro-free speech people. Why is the left trying to censor people on college campuses? I don't even understand. I don't get it. Well, first of all, if you're on Fox News and you support President Trump, no, he's deeply hostile to free speech. Deeply hostile to it. He said we should ban flag burning. That is 100% against the First Amendment. Justice Scalia, a far-right justice, was like, yeah, that's political speech 101. You should be allowed to do that. Trump has said he wants to de-license news organizations that criticize him too strongly. That's deeply against the First Amendment. So, you should have hefty criticisms for the president on that, if you're a free speech person. No free speech person can back this president at this point. I mean, that's obvious. But, at least on the issue of college campuses, they're always on one side of this issue. Always. They're always yelping about how, ah, let the people speak! Come on, that's what freedom of speech is about. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happened in this segment. Welcome back. So, a public school in Philadelphia sparking outrage for displaying anti-NRA and anti-GOP signs. The signs were covered up for elections yesterday, but our next guest says the signs must come down, and so does the Republican Party of Pennsylvania. Joining us now is Erin Elmore, a former Trump campaign surrogate and an NRA member. She planned to send her son to the school but has since decided against that. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. So you came on a few weeks ago. Just remind our audience about what's going on here and, and why this is such a problem for you. Well, I was walking past the local public school in my town and where I pay taxes and where my son would go to kindergarten next year. And I saw these signs that said anti-NRA and anti-GOP messages. This is a public school. These children are as young as five. How do they know what the GOP or the NRA is? Who's putting up these signs then? Uh, allegedly some of the students, but I, I think they were forced to do so. 
And no matter how you come out on this politically, Philadelphia has something like a 70% high school graduation rate. That's 10% below the national average. These kids need to learn how to read. They need to learn math. Right. They need to learn science. Also, why are we indoctrinating our children? They shouldn't have hatred in their hearts. They should ha have love for everyone, no matter what political party you belong to. So now the GOP, the Republican Party of Pennsylvania, they're getting involved. And, and here's what yes. they say about what's going on at the school. They say your handbook specifically states that school property and school time may not be used for political purposes. We request the school district immediately remove those signs. So that's sort of the latest update in what's going on. How is the school, you think, going to respond? Uh, hopefully they will follow that edict and, and take the signs down and I, look I have a lot of friends that send their kids to school here and they're saying things to me like now my children are unsafe because the school is getting death threats and you're bringing this to the forefront and what I say is of course I'm sorry I want all of our children to be safe I love my friends and I love their children but this is a message to the teachers five six seven eight year olds shouldn't be addressing adult issues right. like political parties and the NRA. These are adult issues and you have to realize if you're going to take on adult issues, you're going to have adult consequences. This is just not appropriate for young children. You know, you could be five, six, seven, or eight and notice what's been happening in this country where there's a mass shooting seemingly every other week and many of these mass shootings are happening at schools. So if you're at a school and you want to put up a sign that says guns suck, that seems perfectly rational to me. Now, you might disagree with that message, and you might have a different philosophical take on it, fine. But to try to force them to take down a sign you don't agree with, well, it sounds to me like you're trying to create a safe space, and you're a snowflake, and perhaps you needed a trigger warning before you walked on campus. So what happened? I thought schools were the place where we need more speech, not less speech. You don't censor viewpoints you don't like. Well... I agree. Now, before people say, well, you know, hey, they're too young or this or that or it's signs, it's not the same as speech. Just know uh, there was a, in, a story from probably about a year ago now where right wingers on, on a college campus, either college or high school, I don't remember which, put up, um, put up signs that said unborn lives matter. So it's a play on black lives matter, but it's uh, for an anti-abortion message. And there were people on the left trying to get those signs taken down on, on the campus. And I said, no. No. They should be allowed to keep those signs up. Because that it's a free speech issue, 100%. But the same thing applies here. Now, again, you could say they're young. Sure, they're young. Just because you're young doesn't mean you're not allowed to have opinions. You know? And like I said, if you're 5, 6, or 7, or 8, and you've seen what's happening on TV and all the shootings then yeah, it's not hard to imagine though there's kids being against the NRA and being against guns when it is true, it's a matter of fact, that the NRA is blocking any gun reform that would uh, help to fix this problem, and it's guns that are being used to do the shootings. So again, you might not agree with them politically. Okay, put up a pro-gun message. I don't give a fuck. I'll, st I'll stand up for your right to, do, to put up a pro-gun message. Like they did the... There was a huge walkout after the Parkland shooting... Um, and it, it was national school walkout to do gun reform. Well, like three weeks later, there was a, uh, a school walkout, obviously much smaller, but there was a school wa walkout that was pro-gun. Was I, uh, you know, hair on fire screaming how they shouldn't be allowed to do it? No, because this is what, this is what a, a, a discourse looks like. This is what a free exchange of ideas looks like. Anytime you try to use the authority of the school to clamp down on messages that you disagree with, you're wrong. You're wrong. So, listen, here's my, my whole thing on this. You guys want to have this position on Fox News? Fine. Ah, oh, take down the fucking anti-gun uh, signs and stuff. Just the next time around, when you do a segment, don't pretend like you're, you are the principled pro-free speech people, because you're not. Because you're not. So you're allowed to have this opinion on this issue. Fine. Oh, they're too young, and all oh, the signs are mean, and blah, 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 and I'm a snowflake, and I need a safe space. Fine. To have all those positions. But the next time story comes up where you want to do a segment and you want to act like, oh, the liberals trying to deplatform somebody shouldn't do that. Just know you're also in favor of cracking down on ideas you don't like. So you can't take the argument of uh, we're the principled pro-free speech people because you're not. Because you're not. So you can be rank hypocrites if you'd like. If I agree with the political message, it's awesome. If I disagree with the political message, it's terrible and it should be taken down and they shouldn't allow it. 
That seems to be the position coming from them. So you make the decision who's principled on this and who isn't and who deserves, you know, you to pay attention to them and who doesn't.